Um, just preparing some, preparing some salad. Hope you don't mind if I carry on. It's so nice to have salad that is uh, fresh now rather than what we had during the winter. Oh, I got so fed up with it during the winter. Root vegetables and cabbage. Bit monotonous. Still, it was doing us good. Doris Grant, in her book, um, what was it called now? Uh, Feeding the Family in Wartime. Anyway, she says cabbage, one ounce of cabbage, um, raw, is equivalent. In fact, it has more, let's get it right, more vitamin C units than two ounces of cooked cabbage. Substantially more. Well, there you go. Just proves how much damage we do to uh, our vegetables when we overcook them. Still, no doubt, no chance of that today. I've already been to the Victory Veg Patch today and I've bought back all my goodies that I've been growing there. My lettuce. And I've got some red cabbage. Um, the carrots. Now the carrots, I bought in the greens as well because I'm going to chop them up, have the smaller ones, the smaller leaves, I'll use in the salad as well. But I'm not going to throw away these greens. I should chop them up really small. And then they'll join these little bunnies here. And I'm going to make some pea pod soup in my hay box overnight. And then I've also picked up some, let's put that down there for a minute, some of my mint leaves and some flowers. That's for my dessert. We'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And what I was going to do was, um, well, it's end of the week now and I've run out of almost everything. So I managed to keep back from breakfast this morning a rasher of bacon, which isn't going to go far between the four of us, but if I chop it up fine, it'll do as a garnish on our salad. So that'll, that'll do. And I've got my two ounces of cheese left. So my two ounces of cheese is going to be the core of my salad. And what I'm making is mock eggs. So I'm going to put some of this carrot in with my mock egg. Now, Ministry of Food is doing grand things with all the information they're sending out to us. Um, the leaflets, the food flashes in the, in the cinema. I went to a demonstration and the lady in the Ministry of Food demonstration said that you needed to add a little bit of mustard. Now this isn't in the original recipe, but if you add a little bit of mustard to the uh, cheese, it brings out the flavour of cheese. So that's my dried mustard mixed in. Just pull that all together. And a bit of salt and pepper. And then I need to pull that together with some of my mashed potato. Now, I cooked this yesterday because we had another meal yesterday. So the whole thing about being organised during this difficult time is thinking ahead. Now, I cooked these potatoes yesterday because I had all the pots going yesterday and I made sure that I had cooked these potatoes so that they're really, really, really fine. Now, if you don't have them really fine, you're not going to, this isn't going to work for you. So when you're cooking potatoes to have really fine mash, if you, as soon as they're ready, take them off the heat, uh, drain them and then if you skewer them with a fork, this is how I do it, skewer them with a fork and then I can peel those potatoes really finely. And then I needed to mash them really finely. So if you've got a ricer, you could put it through a ricer, or you put it through a sieve, push it through a sieve, or you could put it even through, a, through your mincer. But you must have really, really fine mashed potato. So I need to push this all together to try and make it come together. It rather depends how dry your carrots are as to how quickly it comes together. I might need to add a little bit of water to this. Let those carrots 
hang about for too long, didn't I? So the salads that we eat are doing us good. The government's really keen on us eating healthily and as a, as a result one of the things that they like us to do is to have a salad a day. Even during the winter, an uncooked meal a day. That doesn't mean we're eating real meat or anything like that, it just means we need to think ahead so that we're using our, our ovens and our cookers sensibly. So is that going to form? Is that going to work for me? Yes, I think it is. So what I need to do to make these mock eggs, this is going to be the centre of our eggs. This is going to be the yolk. So into about the size of a large egg. Let's say it's a goose egg. It's a large egg. But there's four of us, so I'm going to make at least four out of this, mis this mixture. Pour them all together into a ball. And my advice, but I've done these in the past, my advice is to not to then go straight into doing the white of the egg without washing your hands otherwise you end up with white that's got orange in it and now is the tricky bit take about two tablespoons of the mashed potato remember it needs to be really really fine And you need to squash it down to about a quarter of an inch thick. And then, this is the white of the egg, you see? If I get on my orangey hands all over it, I just need to pull the potato up round the centre. It rather depends on your type of potato as to how well that will actually happen. But as you're going to mould it anyway. So you mould that potato all the way round that orangey yolk centre. and then try and make it into as much like an egg shape as you possibly can. And as smooth as possible, so that it looks like a, as much like an egg as possible. Then you realise how, how little you know about the, the shape of an egg. So there we go, a sort of an egg shape, a boiled egg shape. Now, you really do need to put these um, on a plate which, there it is, I knew I've got one, and then put it somewhere cool, as cool as possible, and that's when you can start, once you've got all the eggs made up, that's when you start making up your salad whilst these cool. These need to be cool so that um, with a really sharp knife, then you can um, cut it once it's cooled a bit more easily. And that's going to be our, our, our main part of the meal. And then I'm going to have, um, I'll just rinse my hands again. Um, the dessert I've already sort of made yesterday as well. Yesterday was my using up day. Yesterday I um, used up my dried egg. I made some almond biscuits using the end of my dried egg. Tomorrow I can get a new um, box of dried egg tomorrow being the beginning of the new rationing week and I can get my new box. So what I did with the, with the dough was I inverted my patty tins and I put a big round of the dough on the 
underside. You know, normally we use this side, but I'm using the underside. And then I just cook them as normal. And that creates the little tartlets. Now you can use the almond biscuits, or you can, if you don't want the almond flavour, or you don't have any almond flavouring, then just use vanilla, works just as well. And then I've already made up some mock lemon curd. Oh, lemon. I wonder how long it'll be before I get to use a real lemon again. Anyway, so put the lemon into the tartlets, the mock lemon curd. It's reminiscent of, of real lemon, so I won't mock it really. Oh, pardon the pun. And these will make a lovely little finishing to a summer meal. I can use a couple of my lemon balm leaves, the tiny ones I think, just to just to decorate it. We eat with our eyes first, don't we? If it looks good, that's half the battle of making it taste good. There you have it. One fresh summer salad travelled all the way up the garden and full of vitamins. We've got the parsley, vitamin C, we've got the flowers, all fresh and full of vitamins. Just what the government says we ought to do. And then we've got our little dessert afterwards. Again, decorated with a couple of flowers just to make it look nice. You eat with your eyes first. That's it from me. Stay safe until we meet again.